How you doing? Justin here again for spinal injuries uh, yoga session number five. Um, so I hope you're doing all okay. Um, sun is shining again, which is good. Um, we're going to do so. Maybe we're going to do um, a little more shoulder work this week, but different stuff than we did before. But to start with, um, we're going to start with our usual loosening up uh, of the neck and shoulders a little bit. Uh, so we just, I think you should, you know, before you do any session yourself, um, just tune, firstly tune in with the breath. You can always close your eyes, you can have your hands on the thighs, shoulders roll back, and just come into that kind of yoga space. Close the eyes, a couple of breaths. Filling up the ribcage, blowing or sighing it out. Now I'm going to move through these things reasonably quickly so we can get into the other stuff. I mean, but I just like to instill, I feel like, that you do this kind of warm up stuff before uh, you do anything else. Um, you know, later on. So it's always good to warm up a little bit. So, tuning into the breath. We're going to then on the exhale, drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Feel the stretch in the side there. And then it goes to the other side. What's going on? Just notice what's going on. Back to centre, over to the other side. So we'll just do two each side this time. Usually it's three. Back and forth. Moving on, we're going to take an inhale again. And uh, always move on the exhale, so nose to the shoulder, back to centre, inhaling, exhaling over to the other side. One more time each side. Obviously you can do as many of these as you want. Then we're going to come back to centre. Exhaling as we bring the chin to the chest, up and down a few times. Two times, just. Feeling that and the back of the neck. Just noticing what's going on. If you're tight in any place, bring the breath in there. And now we're going to just do some circular movements. Say three or four or five this way. Clockwise and then add to clockwise. Ch checking in, you know, really loosening out everything and all the time tuning into that breath as you go. So that if you find yourself holding the breath in any way, come back to some kind of, it doesn't really, you know, just as long as you're breathing, you know, freely and not holding it. We intend to hold it up here. You know, it's like if you're scared of something, you'll hold the breath. So you want to just relax into it a bit. Okay, so just a couple more breaths here. Just, you know, getting a sense of the shoulders relaxing, calming that nervous system. So if your nervous system is calm, then, you know, you can move that bit more freely. Okay, as I said, we're going to do a little shoulder work today. Before we do it, I want to do two things. Um, now, I'm on a stool here today. I presume you're on a, a, a low uh, chair so that you can turn around. I'm going to turn around. We're going to do two, I'm going to do two things. You can do them with me. Um, and then we'll come back to do the same things later on and just see if there's any difference, okay? So I'm going to turn around. Now just, I'll just do it in the front first. So we're going to stretch up. Bring, take the left hand, turn the palm out and bring it around at, behind your back. And now I'm going to turn around. So you can see. And we're going to bring the arm down. Keeping up straight now, you know, I can't go very far here. Some people can grab their, their wrists there or their hands, no problem. 
So I'm pretty tight on my shoulders. Maybe I have short arms as well, I don't know. So, you know, you can use your t-shirt. We're gonna do this with a belt or, or, or a, a towel later. Maybe we should do that now. In fact, I should have said that at the start um, to get a towel or a belt. So, but you can do that after, you know, after you've watched the video maybe one more time. So we're gonna go over like that. And you can use the, crawl the hands up towards each other, right? And then hold it. Once you get to the point, you know, where you think you're going today, just hold it there. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So we come back to that later. Uh, there's also these yoga belts here. Well, we stick with the towel. I mean, you probably the towel is probably more accessible to you. Now, another thing, um, you know, each week we've done this side twist. So, you know, left hand to right knee and you're turning around to look behind you, okay? And I want you to, I'm going to the right now, so I want you to observe maybe what's behind you. Now, I can just, if you can see those, there's a, set of drums, maybe you can't see them um, over here. I could just about see them out of the corner of my eye. Okay, so I want to see later on, maybe if I can go a bit further. So, um, and the same with you. So just find something to look at and see how far you get around. Okay, let's move on. And um, so we're going to just take a few Breath, so that's a breathing in, bring the arms up, stretching up, bring the hands together. Really get that stretch and on the exhale, come down. Again, opening up. Turn the palms out. Just tune into that breath again. Bring the hands up, leave them up this time. And remember we did this before, grab the left wrist with the right hand. Let's get that stretch on that side. and then come back to centre and maybe just go one more time so you can stretch over a bit further. Switch hands and then we're going to the other side. And really a little gentle tug, okay? So just really want to work those shoulders and the sides, you know, just stretching out everything else. So just a little further maybe. Bring the arms back down. Stretch them out to the side. Maybe just lean out over to the side here. The side here, just. See how that feels actually, you know, sometimes if you have your hands a bit higher than the shoulders, it's, you feel more of a strength to drop them down there. I mean, if we kept our arms up here now, that's another exercise you could just do, you know. Um, just holding those arms out and see how long you can hold them up. It's a strength nerd there as well. Then we bring our, just turn your fingers in and come in to, and put your fingers on your, your clavicle here, your, sh um, your shoulder blade at the front. My shoulder blade is at the back, sorry. The, the, this collarbone, that's the word I'm looking for. Now, or you can put your thumbs in there. And you have your arms like that, let's inhale, exhale in, inhale out, exhale in. Bring, maybe bring the elbows together and out, just do three, four of these. All the time keeping your posture, you know, your head, don't slouch. And we could do a little up and down. So you can play around with this. Just it's just a little different than what we did before. You can roll the shoulders here, right? Let's say rolling. And generally, the slower you do it, the more benefit really. You can really get in there. You know, if you're doing it fast, it's just. And all the time remember, we let's go forward. You can hunch up here. And 
really slow and deliberate. Okay, so shake that out now as well, because the arms might get a bit sore. Just make sure everything's, you know, if any tension, any pressure building, always just shake it out. Remember the fingers here last week were doing just drying your nails after they've been done. Let's do another one then uh, with turning around to the back. So you can just do this. I'm just showing it so you see it from the back. So we're going to interlace the fingers behind and then stretching over that way and that way. A couple of times each side. And really try and bring the arms away from the, the back. Don't again don't hunch. And again, what you can do here as well is maybe go forward. A couple of times. So exhaling as you go forward. Coming back around. So we'll do that one now. If you've got the towel, we'll do that one. So we're going to just stretch up high. Really, maybe even just do a little reaching up. So you want to get that length in the arms. And just let the let, just for a moment let the arms hang there for a minute. Just let, let a bit of the weight out. So you get a sense of the um, the arms sinking into those shoulder sockets. Just you can close your eyes here as well. Just even visualize going in there into that shoulder socket. The synovial joint, you know, the hips and the, and the shoulders, the synovial joints, so there's a lot of the synovial fluid which gives ease of movement. And obviously the shoulders is much more mobility than the hip. In fact, it's, you know, the shoulder, the arm going into the shoulder joint is quite shallow, whereas the hip, it's much deeper. Okay, so you, there's less movement. Anyway, let's just continue with this. So, maybe have your, your towel over the shoulder. Reaching up, turn the left hand out like so, and then go around and grab it behind. Grab that towel behind, and then grab it here. And just turn around again. We're trying to walk the hands towards each other. Keep, you know, don't hunch, just a keep. Fairly straight without too, too much, just find that happy point. And again, a couple of breaths here. So just with each exhale, maybe you could crawl those fingers a little bit more towards each other. And I don't know if you noticed from earlier, um, when we did it earlier, maybe you can get a sense that you might be uh, getting closer here with the, the, the fingers. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So just reaching up again, getting that length, turn the right hand out, around it goes, grabs the towel at the back. If you need to help it down there, do that. Then bring that arm up, you're grabbing. And you might notice that this side is easier or tighter, maybe. I think mine is tighter. I'm right-handed and tighter here. So it may be harder to get, particularly this lower hand up. And just feel that stretch. Maybe, you know, if you can remember back when we did, well, we didn't do both sides earlier on. We might come back to this again briefly, or you can experiment with it later yourselves. And in fact, while we're here, I've just thought of something else. Uh, let that go, shake it out. We can inter or cross our, grab our elbows at the back. See if you can do this. I don't know if it's open to you with the chair or not, but um, you might be in a, a you know, the, if there's a back on the chair. And again, there's a, you know, some people are very flexible, particularly women, I think, in shoulders. They can do, they can 
make a prayer pin behind. They can put their hands in prayer position. I can't do that. So I'm happy enough to stay here. You'll notice your shoulder blades are coming towards each other at the back and your collarbones here are spreading out at the front. And you can take a couple of breaths here and again maybe with each exhale just crawl the, the hands towards the elbows. Really opening up, you know, get a sense of that opening up at the front and your heart just going forward and you know, imagine somebody had a hand at the back and was pushing it in between the, your shoulder blades and your, you don't want to come out too much with the belly but you want to come out with the chest, really open up those shoulders. Okay. Again, shake that out, you know, any. So I think that one of the last times we did with the shoulders, we did this one, you could do that on both sides. And then we're gonna fold our arms front in the front here as well. So you could do a variation of that actually, in that if you can go stretch it over. Remember that breath, stretching over to the other side, just and what we're going to do here is we can, you know, you can go circular here. So I'm going anti-clockwise at the moment, three to five, say do that, just really feel that, you know, in your shoulders, working them down and up. Okay, let's switch sides. Blowing that out, blowing any tension out. That's quite a nice one, I think. And again, shake that out. Now try it actually, come back to um, grabbing your elbows. And we'll just try, and again, you wanna bring them up. Now again, if you can't, if that's whacking off your head, just slide the hands back a little bit so you can just come up over the head. Again, keep the belly engaged in, don't let it jut out. Or you might want to, if you can, sit up more up, upright. And you can get a little back bend going there. Stretch those arms back. And hold that maybe for a breath or two. Or you can come down. You could even come down and go forward a little bit. And come up. Stretching that up. All the time, exhaling as you come forward. Inhale, filling up that chest, all the ribs filling up and just, you know, don't push it too hard, but just see, see what range of movement you have. It's all yoga's about self, self-observation, looking in and, you know, maybe with more practice you'll find that you can open up areas. I mean, it's opening, it's about opening up space and just let that go. Okay, that's kind of why I would plan today, but let's go back to that, um, what we did in the beginning. So we're going to do that side twist. We do it on both sides. In fact, um, we should have done it on both sides in the beginning, but you can experiment with this again. Okay, so we're going to twist so that these, the, you know, if you get your hands on your knees, you're going to bring that left hand over to the outside of the right side, turning around and see. Uh, it hasn't made a huge difference with me, but I can see, I don't know if you can see this at the edge of the door here, I can see about a couple of inches more, an inch or two more on that side. I didn't do, excuse me, let's try it on that side. So just move them around. I can see that pot of plant over there, but of course I didn't do it both sides the first time. That was a bit silly. 
But look, you can play around with this. It's just a curiosity, uh, you know, how tight you are perhaps in the shoulders and in the twists. And maybe just try it, you know, before you begin, if you're doing this again, just to see where you get to. Okay, so we're going to finish up with, normally we finish up with grabbing a cushion, folding forward, you can do that. I think today we'll just sit upright. Maybe do kind of a little yogic breath. So you can have your, your hands, roll those shoulders back, your hands are resting on your thighs. You might want to grab your um, forefinger or your uh, maybe the two fingers, the middle and the forefinger, just hold it there, kind of yoga-like. You know, just keeping the, by doing this, you're keeping the shoulders up as long as you're comfortable. Or you can have the hands on the, on the knees like that, whatever is fine. Whatever is, but you're upright, your belly's engaged a little bit, your shoulders are rolled back, chin is relaxed, just check the chin. Maybe put your three fingers at the back of your neck so you can feel, you know, you have a natural curve at the back of your neck. So you want to find, you don't want to be too rigid in the back of the neck, so you want to find that curve held up by a piece of thread, okay? And what we'll do here is we'll just finish off with 10 breaths. Breathing in and blowing out. Really letting go. Just blowing out all that stay there. I think that's five, so we'll do five more. For any tension or anxiety that's built up. In these days that we're in. So anytime you know, you know need to find a bit of space just to breathe, to let go, let the thoughts go. You don't have to be busy or doing something all the time, you know? Silence is good. It's important. Two more after this. Okay. We just, as we always do, well, as I always do in my class, so I just finish up, you know, you want to come back into whatever you're doing, so the energetic Tai Chi, energetic breaths, you have your one hand over the other, and apparently if you're a bloke, you have the right hand over the left, and if you're a woman, you have the left hand over the right. If it makes any difference, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's not, I'm not dogmatic about these things, so inhaling, Gathering that energy and just harnessing it up there and just bring it down. Turning around. Stretching up. Gathering that energy. Bring it down. Last one now. Bring the hands together this time. And then to your third eye for your intuition, down to your lips for your speech, and down to your heart for your heartiness or your compassion. Or maybe just coming into a long weekend, uh, hopefully there's light at the end of the tunnel here. So just keep going on. And be happy in yourselves and smile at anybody you see. From my hearts to your hearts and from your hearts to all our hearts together. Namaste. I'll see you same place, same time. Maybe next time. Take it easy.